people, what's up? Trust that everybody's doing well and everybody's doing all right. So I'm out here, people, just walking in the lush vegetation, in nature, and thinking, you know? And I'll be talking about Shelley and Fraser Price versus Elaine Thompson era. Who will break the world record first? And before I even go any further, thanks very much for tuning in. I solicit your like on this video. Yeah, man, like the video, people. Like the video. And um, if you're new, we're also encouraging you to subscribe and be a part of the channel because this is where you get your sporting experience. All right. So, last season was a very good season. I mean, for Elaine and Shelley. Yeah, man, both of them had good seasons last season. Olympic, gold and silver medal, fast time, 10 6, 10 5. And uh, one would expect after Elaine's season, based on how she progressed, they probably were looking for the world record. It didn't happen. Um, segue into this season. It seems as if, I mean, with Elaine changing camp, persons are writing her off. I think she's unstoppable, and I think she's proving her detractors all wrong. Yeah? And she opened her season with a 10 8, easing off the throttle. She did some meet record in Puerto Rico. Um, she ran at the Jubilee meet. Um, 22, 75, 200 meters. So, I mean, she's poised. Shelly opened her, her season as well with a 200, 22, 7, easing up. And then she easily brushed aside the field in Kenya in a 10, 6, 7. Although persons are saying it's in high altitude sort of conditions. Now, given the fact that these are two fantastic sprinters, very talented, um, one is quick out the blocks, one is very um, good in terms of top end speed, meaning deceleration is not as rapid as other athletes, right? So, who do we think, who do you think will actually break the world record first? It's, 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 it's a very interesting question because a lot of things contribute to a world record happening. You have the, the, the wind factor, you have the execution factor, and, and other variables that would have contributed to it. So, I mean, Shelly has the start, Shelly has the technique, but does Shelly has the finish? Persons have, have been saying that, you know, Watching Shelly on Fraser Price, even though she has improved her, her, her latter part of her, her race, they have not seen where any overdrive would have happened for her to actually make a real world record. Now, Elaine, they say, doesn't have a good start, but her superb sprinting form and the technique, which includes her top end speed, would allow her to actually change gear and my challenge for that world record. I'm just putting these things out there, people, because I can't really say which one will actually break the world record first. It's very ticklish. Like I said before, there are some variables. Uh, wind reading, execution of a proper race throughout all the phases. The, those things have to be taken into consideration. You know what I mean? So it, it's very difficult. But can these ladies break the world record is the other question can these ladies break the world record is the other question i mean you talk about the person who owes the world record that she's tainted and all of that but yet still persons are saying that our two ladies can actually break the record so you, you see the the, the 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 little disparity there right but i mean i'm putting this out there people for you to 
decide for us to have a conversation on the matter if any of these ladies can actually break the world record do you believe that eugene is a, a place a fast track as they say it, is, it has suitable conditions for fast sprinting and for world record um, breaking performance what say you people what say you tell me what are your thoughts on this idea of who will break the world record first if it happens yeah until next time stay safe peace out